Sorry for the two-part video. I'm not a YouTube aficionado. Wanted to explain some things. Upstairs, this was the cable. This was what was going over each of those old rafters, I don't know what you'd call them, braces in the attic. The higher you can get this, the better. Ultimately being in the center of the attic, which is where I put it in the peak. All I did on that end was tie it off just a simple knot, um, just so it would hold and not pull back. On this end, I've stripped a little more copper. Let's pretend this aluminum pole is the chimney. Once I ran it over each brace, I just took, wrapped the wire and twisted it tight on the chimney. It's grounded. This just is hung out there. I used, like I said, 20 feet of stripped wire because the house was 40 feet long. This here is about 6 foot because I stripped 3 foot back on each. Now, if you don't already have a cable system established in your attic or satellite system, it's fairly easy to, to do all this. It, it really don't take a professional. You can buy the tools you need, the ones all the cable companies and all use at Home Depot. These are relatively cheap. You can buy all the fittings to make your own cable lines. Let's just say you would run your antenna but you got your splitter, but you need to run a new TV line. Well, all you would do, this little tool cuts the perfect cable line. See, everything's stripped perfect. This here is a crimp on the cable. You just slide it on there. These here. crimp down. You have yourself a cable line. Now I didn't crimp these because I didn't want to waste all my crimps. But I do suggest whenever you're putting all this together for the best reception is you don't have to make it extremely tight but you want a snug fit on all even the wall plates on any place there's a coupling you want to make sure they're relatively tight. Um, if you need to splice, they sell these that'll hook end to end together. Uh, everything you can buy at Home Depot, like I said, relatively cheap. I don't remember what the cost of the stripper and the crimps were, but it was cheaper than having somebody else come out and do it. But like a, these, uh, you can find all this in. I think it's the cable and telephone section in the in Home Depot. Um, if you have any questions, comments, put them in the comment section. Hit me up on Facebook. I do recommend you going to, let's see if you can see that, tvfool.com. It will tell you, put in your address, it'll tell you what channels you can receive at what, what height. Um, if I was to put this outside, maybe 10, 12 feet above the uh, roof line, I could gain five or six more channels. Is it that important? No, we've lived without TV almost two years, so it, it doesn't bother me. One thing I also wanted to stress, there is no such thing as an HD TV antenna. It's a sales gimmick. Uh, an antenna is an antenna is an antenna. The only difference is there are HD receivers, receivers being the TV. If you have an old analog TV, you're going to need a digital converter box. The government gave those away a few years ago when they started switching to digital. Um, if you have an analog TV, Walmart sells a digital converter box, I think 20 bucks or so. They're relatively inexpensive and it will allow your old analog TV to receive a digital signal. Um, if you have a newer TV, you're good. All you have to do is program it. Like I said, we live, oh, 80 miles from Dallas, and we receive all the Dallas stations. Uh, actually, really clear, better than 
what our cable looked like years ago when I remember having it. Uh, everything is crystal clear coming through. It's free of charge. We've even got cable uh, channels that our cable company didn't offer. So I, for free, it's well worth it uh, to free yourself from a cable bill. I don't remember what we were paying when we stopped, but it was $120, $130 a month for cable, which was ridiculous, and we didn't even have the premium channels. Um, I guess that'll do it. If you have questions, hit me up. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks.